there have been a number of changes to the Friends of Mitchum Common website. The first, on the homepage, is the addition of a message, something needs fixing on the common. Contact the Mitchum Common Conservators. They maintain the common and will be able to ask your queries about piles, weeds, and anything they can fix. The reason this change was made was that the email account for the Friends of Mitchum Common was getting emails of complaints of query that really should have been addressed to the conservators. By putting this message up onto our website, hopefully we will be getting less of these messages and people will be contacting the conservators directly. They can do so by clicking this link. Or the image. The second change to the website has been to update the listing of names under the committee. This is because we had an election and the results were announced on the 19th of June 2023. So this list of names now includes the current chair, which is myself, the membership secretary, the treasurer, and the new committee members. Old hands John Beaumont and new members, new committee members that is, Emma on New Jekwe, Susan Simmons, and Leslie Sorrell. Another change to the Resolution Column website has been an index for the Magpie newsletters. You click on the Magpie option on the top of the screen. And here it says, if you click on to the Magpie image, you will be directed to a Google Drive directory showing all the magpies that are available. And you just click on one of them to see the contents of that issue. What's now been added to our website is an index. You click on here, index of the articles. And there is now a list of article headings and the number of games the article heading is the issue where this is mentioned. We can do a shortcut to an article heading beginning with a particular letter by clicking one of these letters here. So let's look for mushrooms. So it's under M. Mushrooms, issues 1, 64, 98, and 102. Let's look for the most recent. 102, winter 2020. There are some photographs of mushrooms. The Chevy Parasol mushroom. Now, you might ask, are there any other articles about the Parasol mushroom? So, let's go back to the index. O to P, Parasol mushroom, 1 and 102. 102 is what we just looked at, so let's look at number one. And the nature that it by Paul and Janet Morris refers to the parasol mushroom with a warning. This is an exceptionally good year for the parasol mushroom. It's about one foot across, edible but do not mix it with alcohol and widespread all over the common. But beware, sometimes you can find what look like large edible mushrooms in the woods. You should not be eaten because some are very poisonous. Edible mushrooms can safely be found only in grassland. So there you have it. We now have a comprehensive index for articles that appear at all the Magpie newsletters. The fourth change to the Friends of Mitchum Coral website has been the addition of an events calendar. This can be found via the menu line at the top. 
with this calendar shows events relating to the Friends, of which I'm going, and also other societies. For example, Wednesday the 26th of July, Community on the Green. The description has a link to the webpage for Mitcham Creepy Green Community and Heritage, which gives us information about the event. Or for this weekend, Saturday the 29th of July, the Canada's Sustainable Fair. Click on the link. And we match the calendar. We can look forward to August. On the first Thursday of every month, it's the Magpie Meet. An informal gathering in the bar of the Miller and Carter restaurant, next to the Ecology Centre in Wimble Road, Mission. You don't have to be a member to come along. All are welcome. And the time is from 7.30 to around 9.30, depending on how many people are there. So that's the events calendar available on the Friends of Mission Common website. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please press the like button and perhaps subscribe so you can be informed of more Friends of Mission Common videos.